Welcome to Sunfire Designs. Today I'm gonna to try something a little different. I am going to pour a flower fusion, but I'm gonna pour it into a square mold because I have not tried that before. I don't know if anybody else has, but I'm gonna give it a go. There was a little piece of hair in there. There we go, got that done. All right, so I've mixed up my colors. I'm using Art Pro Resin. I uh, mixed up 200 mils of resin. It's probably a little more than what this needs, but at least I will have enough. Um, here's my white. I am using Casting Craft inside my white. It is not close to opaque, but it's not super transparent either. It's not on the borderline of them too. I know it's kind of hard to see on this stick, I'm sorry. Um, but if you, you can see the stick pretty easily through it. So there's that. This is um, Liquitex Thalo Blue. Love this color, so beautiful. This is Liquitex Deep Turquoise or Turquoise Deep. I don't know why they put it that way. Turquoise Deep, Deep Turquoise, same thing, right? Okay, this is Quinacridone Magenta. Liquitex also. And then finally, for my push, I've got this right here, which is very see-through, and that is Senelair um, Turquoise. And then I have some glitter to go into the center. So, let's get going here. I'm gonna start off by taking the sticks out. So when I go to pour, it's going to pour right out and then I set them aside just so that I can use them to scrape everything out when I'm ready for it. Okay, I need to move this out of the way and this too. All right, so I'm going to pour half of each one in the center. You know, about, I, I am not being perfect or exact. And I didn't really even pay attention to what order I'm doing these in because <laughs> I don't think it really matters. You'll see that the colors can still be seen through. They're not really super dark. Um, and they're probably going to blend and make purple. A purpley, bluey purple. Um, which is fine. I knew that it was going to do that. I was trying to add... I was going to have shades of blue, but I'm like, no, I got to have some turquoise in there. So for a little bit of green, and I wanted to have some pink or magenta in there. So, and I did that um, so that it wouldn't all be the same color. And then also, I know that magenta mixes okay with the turquoise, because turquoise is a little more blue. But magenta would kind of clash with um, green. So, and I'm always, that's just kind of, I'm not very brave that way. I don't mix colors if I think they're going to somewhat clash. So maybe I'm a chicken. I don't know. Bok, bok, but, <laughs> but that's just how I roll. And that is why the push is going to be turquoise also. Although the push is not, the color of the push isn't going to matter quite as much as far as like clashing because it doesn't have a lot of color. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to pour my white in the center. And there's like a film on the top of this and I, it's because it's cold in here. So you may notice it. I think that's why sometimes in the winter, I haven't done it in a while. I've heated up my resin, just the part A. And so I'm gonna start doing that with the next batch that I mix up because I've noticed like the last, this is probably the worst one that there's like a little film on it. All right, so now I'm gonna put the push in, but I'm not gonna do it so fast that I can't tell how much I've got to pour in. I don't wanna overflow. It's probably gonna be pretty close. That's good, that's almost all of it. Um, I'd say probably only like five mils left. All right, so let's scrape this glitter in there. Hopefully I'm getting that near the center. 
And then I am definitely going to torch to try to see if I can get rid of that little film on there. It's kind of annoying to me. The last couple I've done, I haven't really noticed it that much. Just like a little bit. But this one, I could definitely see it when I was pouring stuff in. All right, so that's all poked down. So let's give this a torch and see if we can break up some of that. Yeah, it's kind of disintegrating when I'm going over this. So I think it definitely is from the um, cold room. So, all right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on a time-lapse and I'm probably gonna be torching, tor torturing. I keep saying torturing, I don't know why. I promise you, this is not alive, so it feels no pain for me holding the flames to its feet, so to speak. All right, so I don't want to torch too much because see how it's breaking up my white there? I mean, I think it looks cool, but I also don't want to, I don't know. But I'm going to keep torching it here and there because just to kind of keep the top clear. Um, but I'm going to put a time lapse on. The bubbles are going to work their way out. This is going to continue to move. I don't think it's going to move that fast, though, to be honest. So you might not be able to see a lot, but... Here goes, and I will see you. I'll see you when it's time to unmold because I'm probably going to put this on for a little bit and then take it off to do something else. So I'll see you soon. All right, let's see how this came out. It does look a little clearer in the middle, but that doesn't always mean that it's gonna look weird on the other side. I don't know, you can see some really good petal formation, which is awesome. Let's see what we got here. Wow. Oh, that looks so cool. Oh my gosh, I love the colors. I love the petals. The middle goes with it perfectly. It almost looks like a heart if I turn it this way. The middle looks like a heart. I love it. I, I think it looks kind of cool like that. I love it. Yay! What do you guys think? Let me know what you think, and I will see you next time. Bye.